Hey everybody, welcome back to another Black Shirt Beer Review. I am, as always, the Rhinus. Holly, the first lady of Black Shirt Beer Review, is with us as well. Top Shelf Lager! Here's one for you. Alright. Here's one for me. Here's a nifty little glass for you. And a nifty little glass for me. Just saying. All right, this guy is apparently out of, where is it now? Baysville, Bays Ontario. Put it on the map! Official beer of the NHL Alumni Association. And you know, Canada, they know beer pretty much. They like beer a lot. They, they love their hockey. So let's let's see this guy. I mean, it can't can't be that bad, can it? What's the worst that could happen? Right away, I'd like to say that that's a nice head. Just a little off white, hanging out pretty okay. Pretty tight lacing. Doesn't look too shabby. Ooh, the cat's interested in it. <laughs> Yours is a little heavy. You know? I yeah, I get some more of mine as well. But uh, for a lager, it's a little darker than I thought it would be, which is pleasantly uh, surprising. I like uh, to see that. It's a gold color. Yeah, maybe. it's not just like you know fizzy yellow piss. It's got a good gold color to it. You get out the nose of this. Have you done? fiddling with your head. Stop playing with your head. Come on, we don't have all day. It's got a kind of a sweet nose. It does. Good malty though. It's still it's still slightly rosy. Yeah, a little bit. Well, look good. It smells good. Let's do that thing. Top shelf. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's an easy drinker. Yeah, I mean, this is super easy. I mean, it's only 4.5% alcohol. It's 15 IBU. I mean, it's right in pretty much every ballpark that it should be in. And it's pretty tasty, actually. I mean, this is a Canadian lager, you know. It's got a good malt profile to it. It's nothing huge, and there's no, no big roasty bold tones. It's it's a lager. I mean, it's just easy drinking. Uh, it is. It's very easy to drink. Yeah, it's got uh, those noble hops uh, profile, so it doesn't let it get too sweet, but it's still more malt forward than anything. And you know, really, I I really like this. The more and more I drink it, it seems like. It seems like the, the more you drink it, the, the more the malt profile comes up. And I actually really like that. It's almost like, now that I've had it in my mouth a little bit, it's almost kind of like biscuity. Yeah, this is one that you can just sit and easily drink on there. I can definitely see that this bad boy's got to be like ice cold, though. You know, yeah. Real nice cold. And uh, I guess that makes it a uh, good thing that it's uh, the beer of the NHL alumni. This would, I, could, I could definitely see this being a good beer for sitting in an ice rink watching people hurt themselves. You know, that kind of sounds appealing to me. I mean, everything about this is pretty nice. The mouthfeel on it is really clean. I mean, it doesn't have any, like, you know, off-flavor finish like, you know, a lot of lagers do. I mean, this is all around just really pleasant. And I'm not the biggest lager fan. I'm more into like, you know the bigger, bolder flavors. But I mean, definitely, if I was out in bar land, which I don't believe it or not, I don't hit the bars that often. Um, if I was out in the bars or like you know just watching sports or something, 
I would look for this again. This is good. I mean, this is this is good party beer. You know, they they come in they come in nice pints. It's only four point five, so you can have a few of these without getting just completely wonko. Overly filling. I I like this. Yeah. I mean, and it grows on you too. I mean, it grows on you fast. I I want to drink a lot more of these. (laughs) So. That being said, we should probably put some numbers on it now that we've talked about I think we've covered all our bases. Holly, would you do the honors, please? Based as a, a logger, just logger. I'll give it a four. I mean, it's not really anything special. It's just good. It's good. It's not necessarily my favorite type of beer. Right. You know, but it's good. I would drink it again. Okay. Um, based on loggers. Just loggers. I'm gonna give this a four and a half. This is damn near perfect for me as a logger. Uh, I just really like. I like everything. Really good malt profile. Very clean. Very very clean. But like actual uh, hops presence too. But nothing huge. This is this is kind of what I want for my loggers. This is this is really good. So four point five for me. So I guess let's finish these and until next time. I'm the Rhinus. I'm Holly. Happy drinking, eh? Cheers. Peanut butter disaster. <laughs>